Genre, Fantasy Essential Question How can families work together as a team? The Mice Who Lived in a Shoe by Rodney Pepe This is a story about a shoe and the family of mice who lived in it. When it rained, they got wet. When it snowed, they got cold. When the sun shone, they got hot. When the wind blew, they flew all over the place. But the worst thing of all was when the cat put his paw into the shoe and stretched out his claws. The family huddled together at the toe end for safety. They all squeaked until the cat went away. When they were sure the cat had gone, they gathered around Ma in the dark. The only way to be safe from the cat and to shelter from the weather, said Pa, is to build a house. Where? Where? the family cried. Right here in this shoe, replied Pa. What a good idea, said Ma. I'll make the curtains. There'll be other things to do before that, observed Grandpa. Pa asked everyone to draw their dream house. There was a big house, a small house, a short house, a tall house, a fat house, a thin house, a long house, a red house, a blue house, and a green house. Pa looked at them carefully to see who had the best ideas. Then he drew their dream house. The next day, a junk merchant came to take away all their broken furniture. Pa didn't get much money for it, but it was enough to buy tools and materials. They started to build a house. Grandma gave the orders. Pa sawed the timber. Ma held the ladder. Pa helped Ann to mix cement. Ma held the shoestring for Mick to cut. Sue sawed the roof timbers. Mary fetched bricks for Grandpa. Ann made a play platform. Mary and Tim made the windows and doors. Mick made the balcony. Pip made the tea. Their relatives came from across the valley. Their friends came too. Pa and Sue were working on the roof. The others were inside, hanging the curtains. We heard you were building a house said Uncle Jack. So we brought you some furniture, added Aunt Jane. Pa, Ma, and their family were overjoyed to have such lovely things for their new home. They thanked their friends and relatives and offered them some tea. Everyone admired the house. Sue and Pip served tea. The last pieces were moved in. Soon it would be time for bed. When it rained, they kept dry. When it snowed, they kept warm. When the sun shone, they kept cool. And when the wind blew, they stayed safe inside. But the best thing of all was when the cat came to put his paw into the shoe, to stretch out his claws. He couldn't, for where there was once a hole, there was now a house.